WA0DQR, uh, WA0DQR, November 6, uh, Quebec Whiskey calling, N6QW calling in by. Very good evening to you, John. Name here is Pete, Papa Echo Tango Echo. Uh, we're about uh, 50 miles northwest of Seattle in a little town called Port Townsend, and you're strong here as well, a good 5'9 plus. Uh, so it's uh, nice to see the band is uh, is open, but uh, you know what kind of happens this time of night. Let me turn it back to you. WA0DQR, November 6, uh, Quebec Whiskey, again, the handle is Pete. No, uh, I've been uh, piddling with the radio here. Actually, uh, this is a homebrew transceiver, and uh, I just uh, got it finished here this past weekend. Today I put the, the case on it, and uh, it's actually a QRP transceiver. runs about 2 watts by itself, but I, uh, I do have the afterburner on, and we got all the way up to about 80 watts uh, peak here. Uh, this is November 6, Quebec Whiskey. Okay, well good. So, yeah, uh, what kind of antenna have you got? Go ahead. Yeah, it's an extended Lazy H, uh, Lazy H wire beam up in the pine trees. Well, I have no idea what that is. I'm using the Mosley uh, CL33 tri-bander up 40 feet, and I'm running the ICOM 765, not to be confused with the 756. This one dates back to 1990, and I'm running the Kenwood TL922A linear. Cranked all the way up. Uh, I'm found out that my electric bill has gone up too since I operate the linear. <laughs> so, Pete, how's your weather? Uh, and uh, is that a total homebrew rig that you made? Go ahead. Yeah, Roger. Uh, the weather is not too bad, although it looks like may maybe getting a little sprinkling of snow here in the next day or so. Let me tell you about the antenna. Think of the letter H, and that's exactly what it looks like. It's an upper dipole and a lower dipole, and are connected with uh, 25 feet of uh, 450 ohm line. Right at the center of the 450 ohm line is the feed point. So you get about 6 dB of gain, although you get six major lobes with it, and it's about 110 feet long. Upper uh, dipoles uh, 50 feet above ground, the lower dipoles about uh, 25, and it's facing uh, facing east. Yes, uh, this is a totally homebrew uh, homebrew rig, and uh, it's uh, it's in a box two inches by three inches by five inches. Uh, we're working hard to uh, shrink a transceiver down to about pocket size, and we're getting awful close uh, awful close here. WA zero DQR November six uh, Quebec whiskey. Yeah, it's uh, it's fed with ladder line for a significant distance, and then I built a nine to one ballon, so it's uh, fed with coax, and it is fed in phase. Although you can feed it out of phase, if you feed it at the center, uh, both elements are in phase. If you feed it uh, at one of the lower or upper dipoles, then it's out of phase, and uh, the in phase version allows you to work multiple bands. Uh, the uh, out of phase version is a single band, there, John. I can't understand 
above actually uh, I built I fabricated myself a 9 to 1 ball and actually it's a 2.25 uh, in uh, cascaded with a 4 to 1 so uh, you get the multiplication factor and you get a 9 to 1 so it's coax in balance line out and I do have an antenna tuner in line that allows me uh, from the from the coax uh, coax to the transmitter transceiver uh, to uh, the antenna tuner antenna tuner uh, coax uh, to the 9 to 1 ballon which is located about uh, 50 feet away from me and then uh, from there it's ladder line and uh, it, it works very very well here Yeah, Roger. And the only reason I don't have ladder line into the shack, I was getting RF in the shack here. So uh, by by putting coax and then putting it to the nine to one ball, and I got the RF out of the shack. But I am familiar with the EF Johnson tuners. Uh, quite quite a robust uh, piece of equipment. Yeah, I think uh, I think there was two models, a 250 watt and a big kilowatt. Uh, I was very interested. Someone, uh, you know, they just uh, put an EF Johnson uh, Thunderbolt linear in very good shape and just. Oh yeah, well, actually that was kind of a bargain. I've seen them go uh, for more than that. But uh, Johnson, well, I guess Johnson still makes uh, commercial equipment, but uh, they uh, they had a real lock on the amateur uh, amateur market, and they built uh, really good quality. Uh,